is going on? What is going on? Welcome to another episode of Coffee Break. Be creative, be great. You already know. You know what I'm saying? Um, today's interesting. You know what I mean? We got this whole pandemic, you know, going on. There, there, there's a lot of stuff that's, you know, stopping people from, from doing certain things. And, and I'm glad I was, you know, I'm, I'm able to... So at this time, bring to you another episode of Coffee Break, man. I'm kind of excited. Um, this one is going to be pretty cool. We're going to connect with this this guy that I was able to, to meet. Um, um, I got paired or connected with him uh, through a friend, Brian. And, and um, you know, he, he introduced us. And, you know, I think it's, it's pretty cool because we, we hit it off uh, uh, pretty cool with the owner of this coffee shop that we're actually going to be going into so today's interview is going to be with um with this man named eduardo and um he roasts coffee he's official the name of the place is called cafe real uh real coffee pretty much he's trying to say like he's the real deal so we're gonna be um connected with him now i'm on my way to to go see him now at, at his coffee shop so we're going straight from here right into uh, uh to, to the coffee shop um and we're gonna do the interview with him man we're, we're we're gonna check him out and we're gonna say what's up and and we're gonna see what's his story like you know how he opened up this little coffee shop in bristol connecticut you would think like hey, why bristol you know it's 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 dope man it's a colombian uh style coffee um he's gonna he he'll he'll talk a little bit more as to you know where what's the background on it and and it's like family owned for like 70 years and stuff like that um but like every coffee break we got a car to show you and today i am in a 2020 range rover um hse sport um 3.0 liter v6 engine um pretty much fully loaded it's like about 254 horsepower something like that all-wheel drive this is the 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 five the five seater it's pretty spacious in here um i don't know how much you can see from from here but but it's but it's pretty spacious the infotainment system is like is is pretty dope is legit i haven't gone in depth um into the system but pretty much everything is like touch screen it's almost like the, the, I don't know if you've been inside of a Tesla, but the Tesla has almost like this huge iPad looking uh, um, screen where it has all the functionality right through the touchscreen. So Range Rover's infotainment system, it's, 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 it's kind of similar, right? But it has two LED screens, um, OLED screens. And it gives you the whole, you know, dynamic of the car, AC, and you know, this is maybe like you know, two dials. Everything is pretty much digital. Uh, as far as technology, this thing is 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 packed with a with a lot with a lot with a lot of technology in it. In as far as the infotainment system, uh, all the settings that you're able to to do and you know mess around with it, it's it's all gonna be controlled through the infotainment system on the screen itself. Obviously, there's other controls that you wouldn't be able to to adjust while the car is in motion. But once you have the car in park, you can go ahead and tamper around with the, with the seats, with the climate control, all these different types of settings um, for for comfort. You know what I mean? Because this Range Rovers have always been known for for their ruggedness, but also their their comfortability um, in in drive and in performance. Man, the, these these cars are pretty much beast, right? Uh, I don't know if you've seen my last episode with the um, with the X5. I'm um, sorry, with the X7, which was BMW's latest um, SUV um, outside of the, the X5s. And, and that one is obviously was the, the X7, seven seater was much bigger than this. Uh, the ride was, was, pretty, was pretty smooth as well. I'm a big fan of BMW, but I do like Range Rover as well. They make great and amazing cars. Um, but this car is 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 pretty much dope. So you're gonna, I'm gonna give you some some. You're gonna be able to see the outside of the car and and you know, get a little bit of 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 3D type of view of the whole entire car. 
but it's but it's pretty it's pretty mint man this is the 2020 model um i believe the rims were about uh 21 inch rims pretty big tires nice and fat um go through the roads this is really rugged for snow for 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 all this is an all season uh truck or suv but this like you could go on long trips with this i believe it was i forgot what was the uh the miles per gallon the fuel tank was a 27.6 gallon um take it easy girl got people honking at me the light just turned red sorry for that but um it's 27 27 gallons it's pretty it's pretty big um but yeah here we are man another coffee break episode um, I'm pretty excited. I can't wait for us to 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 connect now and and meet with Eduardo. It's gonna be uh, El Eduardo, not Eduardo. It did. Uh, it's Eduardo. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna have a nice time. We're gonna have a nice cup of coffee, and we're gonna get a little a little information as about his life. You know what I'm saying? What he's about, how he opened up the shop, and whatnot. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Don't you pause and don't you fast forward. Stay in it. I looked in the drawer and started to laugh. I'm a happy boy. What is this? I'm a happy. Are you hearing this? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Oh, oh my goodness. I, 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 I don't know anymore about this music stuff, man. Like anybody could, could just. Get a song right now and 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 do a hubba 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 hubba. What is going on and welcome to another episode of Be Creative, Be Great. We're here at Cafe Real. This thing is like, I love presentation. The shop is, is so dope. We're with the, the man, Eduardo, um, who's the owner, the founder of, of, Car of Cafe Real. And we're here to just to just chat, man. Like, it's like I said before, you know, I, I, it's been an honor to even sit down and talk to you about coffee and a bunch of other stuff that we've spoken outside of the camera which is kind of cool um but this is what we do man coffee break we do i talk about cars we bring different people leaders and stuff like that into into the segment so people can can see what other people are doing you know what i mean so the whole purpose for for coffee break is is just not not to give exposure to people but sometimes to give the audience the people who are watching right now the ability to like dream you know that everything is possible man like if you if you have a passion for something if you have something that that you really look forward to doing you know continue doing it because you're eventually going to excel so when i um when brian introduced us you know what i mean through your sister like what a small world it is you know and then he um your sister was saying how much she loved coffee and all this stuff i said oh my god i gotta meet this guy so when um when I met you, bro, it, when first of all, when I spoke to you over the phone, I already knew we were off yes. to a good start. I was like, "Wow, this guy sounds so energetic, everything, you know." And it was, it was great. Like, how did you feel? Like, you know, just I, I don't know what I don't even know what I was expecting. Well, let let me begin with a sip of coffee. Oh, yeah. That's what we came yeah, here to do, it. man. Thank you for the invite. It's yeah. my pleasure to be in yep. your show. Um, I was having a rough morning that day, believe mm -hmm. it or not, because they they. The motor blew up on the on the roaster, so it was it was it was hard. But I received your call and I knew right away because I heard of your channel and 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 what you're doing with with people and motivation and and that positivity. Yep. And right away I, I felt that vibe, and um, and I said I'm ready for you anytime. I yeah. wasn't ready. Yeah. But no, here we are, man, and I'm 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 glad and hopefully we can add something to this conversation no it's, it's great and, and that's how i felt like you know i'm i'm a very spontaneous person my wife can talk about that too because it's like when if i see something and everything is working to plan i i just grab it it's like you know you see those opportunities 
and and something that that um, just to bring in my you know my background my my pastor said this one this he said it one time he said there's like certain opportunities that come right multiple times in your life but and then there's other opportunities that come once and if you're not aware of it you can miss it that's true so that was so powerful when he mentioned that and I try to apply that in like my life so whenever I see really good opportunities come up I'm like, man, this could be the opportunity. Well, I won't get it again. I, you know, let, yes. let, let's grab it. Yes. So that's what that's how, that's how I was feeling at that moment. And shout out to my wife, man, who always, you know, she's very motivational. She's very supportive. So when I say and I move sometimes in that way, she's like, you know what? Go, go ahead. You know, go, I, I go, understand. Go do what you yeah, got to so do. Yeah, so do what you yeah, got to yeah, do. Yeah. So um, it, it's, it's been great. But um, so so talk to me, man. Like, how, how's, how did this whole thing come about? You know what I mean? Like, your your brand says Cafe Real, and when I yes. saw that, I was like, okay, if you're gonna say real coffee, that this thing better be some real coffee. Yeah. So yes. so give me some some background of like you know how how this came about. Um. Well, it's it's not only real coffee, but we also say it's about real coffee. Oh, it's about See, real it's coffee. A, it's the meaning behind the coffee. It's the okay. meaning behind the farming. Meaning behind the connections like this moment we're having right. um, it has to be real man we got to start from a place of fulfillment right uh, I was looking for my identity I look back at, at you know the generational knowledge of farming and exporting coffee and and and, and there was so much to learn there mm. was so much already known but so much to pick up from 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 other people and I and I embarked in this journey of a learner, I had to rediscover myself and, and assume that I didn't know anything to begin with. Mm. And I started from the farm, you know, from the seed. We talked about the process right. and how it grows, how long it takes. Yep. Um, I logged it all in and, and I'm here serving coffee for people and, and yeah. this is just the beginning. Now, and, and Bristol, right? Like, I'm, I'm kind of new to Connecticut. Like my wife has been born and raised in to Connecticut. I've been living here maybe four years or yes. whatever. And I st there's still certain areas that I don't know in Connecticut, like well, routes and different roads and stuff. So every time somebody mentions a location in, in Connecticut, I told my wife, I'm like, where, where is that? How far is that? Is that like this far, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever? She said, Bristol? No, that's like going to Waterbury. And I was like, okay, but how far is Waterbury then? How, you know what I mean? And when I look at, at at Bristol, I know Bristol's a small town from what I from what I see, right? Yes. Now, what what brought you to to Bristol and and open up in this in this area that you opened up? Um, so I came I came here twenty years ago in the year two thousand. I wanted to learn the language. Okay. So, there so was you were a, born in uh, I was Colombia. born in Colombia, Medellin, Colombia, um, and I came here with my mom and my sisters. And I started going to a community college in this town. Mm. down the street so that's where I learned English okay. and I had my first jobs and and I kind of grew you know I bought my home and and had a couple other businesses um, it is a small town this is the home of ESPN this is where ESPN got started uh, and we have the oldest uh, amusement park in the United States it's called Lake Compounds so there's like very few things well Lake Compounds I know I didn't know it was the oldest yeah oh wow so, so there's, um, that's what I heard, yeah. but I, you know, we'll, 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 we'll fact check, check we'll it, fact we'll check. fact check it. <laughs> um, but I, I always found it intriguing yeah. um, and it gave me the opportunities and I got to know the people and, and, and it's been great to me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Oh, nice, man. So as you came from Colombia, you came, got over here, right? But then I, I remember, I know you also said that your, your parents, so when it comes to coffee, you have a background of coffee because your your family has you know grown farms for how long was it seventy years or something like yeah, that? Yeah, like seventy years. Okay, yeah, that's that's uh, that's we were actually my 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 father's uh, side of my family. They they are the pioneers in Colombia, one of the largest producers of Colombian coffee. Oh wow, okay. So they've been exporting it for many years. We just never sold it to the end customer. Yeah. So that's my that's my job. You know, I'm I'm here to say try our coffee. Okay, nice. You know? Oh, that that wow, that's really good. That that's kind of cool then. So it was more of 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 distribution, exactly. and you wanted to bring it to life, so to say, through yes, a shop. Definitely. Oh, okay. You see, so that see, I like that because. The, you thought outside the box, right? Yes. You were like, you know, yes. okay, what, what, what else can I do? 
and that's why when we when we had last our conversation the last time that's what made me like i i was in the car with my wife and we were driving back home and we were just, you know talking about talking the company and we were like man right he's such a a, a a smart guy um very humble i saw you as a humble guy I, when i saw your sister and everything i said wow man see this these are the type of people that i like to meet you know and these are like the people that that i like to put on on the show because it just gives people that that that, that sense of, that hope you know yes. what you can do it doesn't necessarily need to be coffee but just whatever you you want to do or you want to achieve you you know you can do it it could be anything man right? i and and the reason i i say it could be anything is because i wasn't looking for a product i wasn't looking for anything fancy i just kind of broke it down to the things i enjoyed the most okay and these are the two things i enjoy the most a good coffee and a good conversation mm, and me i too. said i can't be talking for a living because then i that would put me on tv or yeah. hollywood or something but i can make coffee right and then i'll talk to my customers that'll, yep. that'll pay the bills that'll that'll be a service to my community right and to my family in yep. colombia which you know yeah. obviously it needs help because the coffee market needs a little boost okay so it became a mission um a little bit of an obsession right um and man I'm, i'm so excited just because there is so much ahead of me all the things that i that i i learn every day mm -hmm. you know how they say ignorance is bliss right. so the more you learn <laughs> now the more you need to learn right and, and that's my journey man i wake up i, I get out of bed 5 a.m every morning and i'm yeah. ready yeah and i'm rolling that's and good. i want to go to bed early so i can start again so so that i, I was really looking for that time of my life where I could enjoy every day yep. and every moment. Right. And have coffee available. No, know. yeah. And and listen, like if you don't everybody who's watched this the show and knows me personally, including the man behind that camera there, knows that I'm a big coffee guy, right? I love coffee. I love different types of coffees. When I travel and you know and go different places around the world, like I try I like to try their coffee you know like how what, what's you know what's it like what it tastes like yes so um it's very few right like i i come up or at least for me personally i've come across very few people that have that kind of like same like passion or, or for yes, coffee yes. and i can tell you from like the count of my fingers of how many people i know that i can say hey listen that that's a good cup of coffee you should go check it out um it's, it's very few but it's cool because like Like I tell everyone, everybody cracks up. It's like for for me, and this is joking, but when I drink a cup of coffee, after I drink it, it's like I do this, right? And then right there, I feel like I'm closer to God. Wow, that's so beautiful, man. <laughs> See, that's that's why we can't talk because every time every time you drop something like that, right? Yeah. You would think that you're on your own, just. Yeah. bringing up this concept but i get it yeah because you know what what if i told you this what if i said that i feel a divine calling to helping the colombian coffee business mm. what if that is what god put me in this world to do yeah and i'm doing it right and it takes no effort in my part i work hard yes right. But I'm not struggling to do it because it's natural. It's a it's a passion. Yes, I enjoy it just like you enjoy your sip of coffee. Right. I enjoy bringing these bags, roasting them, bagging them, selling them to customers. Yeah. It is is totally understandable that you would connect closer to God and right. closer to the origin of this coffee because this is traveling. Right. That's the way I see it. Okay. When I drink this coffee, if I close my eyes. I can be at the farm because I've been there with the same cup of coffee and it tastes, tastes yeah. and it smells the same. Mm. So we're really teletransporting through our senses. Wow, that's that pretty makes good. Any no, sense. no, actually, that that's actually a good analogy in the way you're putting it because yeah. that kind of makes sense. See now, this right, is right. a whole nother. This is a whole, this nother, is a whole nother, nother level. Now we're getting coffee. into you philosophy, see what I'm right? About? Like, I don't even know. Yeah, that, that that's a Should whole. Should we back it up? Should yeah, we back yeah, it up? Yeah, because it's yeah that that was deep because now we're like. We're talking about teleporting now, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, Through right. a cup of coffee, but I, I totally get it. Sometimes people may see it as, you know, the way I want to head out, that's exaggerated or whatever. But but I get what you're saying because, you know, you're, you're, you're seeing the depth 
of the beam and and where it's taking you you know what i mean and you know where it's taking you so far right now you know right, look at you right, have a place right so so it's something that you can look back at and be like wow you know what i mean and, and i can i i believe that god you know um um put us together and and to have a you know com this type of conversation and and you know who knows where it'll, it'll, it'll this lead. will yes. go from you know what i mean who yes. knows what god what else god wants to do in your life outside of coffee who knows the next person that's gonna come and drink a cup of coffee from you and you're gonna have a conversation and they're gonna blow your mind away because they're gonna tell you, listen, you know, I have something bigger for you and you you, you never know, you know? It's happened so, over and over, man. It's happened, right? Yeah, and yeah. and that's what's what's cool about just like that's why when you said I love to sit down over a cup of coffee and just conversate. That's because I like that too. I love it. I love hearing different people's stories, testimonies, you know, like because this didn't come from day to night. I'm pretty sure there was a process. There was a struggle. Yes. You yes. know what? What has been your 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 biggest struggle in terms of like, you know, accomplishing what you have sort of accomplished right now? There's been two two bigger big struggles, right? We haven't talked about the meaning behind the coffee, right? So yeah, you can. Everybody is going to be able to to enjoy a cup of coffee, right? What happened is that I went into this so heavily, right? That I found meaning for my life and, 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 and it kind of made so much sense for me, right? That now I'm connected and, and I feel like, like, yeah, no, this is the right thing. This is the right thing, right? Mm -hmm. Communicating that to people is very hard because not everybody's gonna like pull off your yeah. passion. Yeah. And, and, you know, you can communicate your passion and dedication, but it, it really is a personal thing. You know, like some people won't care about what kind of coffee they drink, and I respect that right. completely, right? That's the one challenge. Number two challenge is I have this big dream, and I know the size of what we're trying to build. And I wish for things that I'm usually not ready to receive, and I receive them. So then I'm not ready. So it's been a struggle just to keep up with the men mm. from day one. Wow. I started with 30 pounds that I brought in my carry-on luggage. And now we're sitting on 20 bags of coffee. That's over two tons of coffee, man. Mm -hmm. so, so the things just flow, right? But it's just not a dream anymore or an idea. Now there's got to be money behind it, right. actual work, logistics, and resources, right. you know. Those are the two struggles: scaling mm. and, mm. and 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 communicating. You, that, you, that, you said that something. Dream. You said something very important, and it's for everybody to, to hear as well. You know, you said something really powerful. Where, you know, you want certain things, they do come, right? But and then, it's almost like you got to be ready for it. And if you're not ready for it, and it comes it's going to be a little bit more challenging to, to manage it, right? And, yes. and I think that that's a powerful statement in itself, in general, in all things, you know? We, we chase for stuff and, and, and you know, we, we want to reach certain goals, but we got to be ready that when that dream or, you know, that person comes into your life to, hey, listen, let, let's start it up, let's do it. Let's do Are it. you ready? Or are you gonna punk out or be like, you know, oh my God, I can't do it. So it's like, I, I like that because we always have to be ready. And even like, um, you know, talking about coffee and I said that this, you know, connects me to God and stuff like that. It's kind of like jokingly and stuff like that, but but I it's because I, I love the taste of it, but I that's how I feel when it comes to, to my life. The way God has just like brought people in my life yes. that I wasn't expecting. But like I told you, I had to be ready, right? So I gave you a call. I asked you. You said, "Listen, I'm ready anytime." And I said, "Oh shoot, I'm I'm ready too." You know what? I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll shoot over to you when now if it's possible. Yes. All right, let's do it. Yes. So I try to grab the opportunity and and going back to just you know grabbing the opportunity. We always got to be ready for that moment. You know what I mean? And and um um I I like that. You know I like that mentality of that way of thinking, and and that's how we should all you know be thinking. And that's where I think if there's anything that somebody can take from watching this video and from from watching you know what you have to say would would be that you know what i'm saying be ready always be, be ready, ready to to receive those things that are going to come your way that you may not necessarily you know expect at the moment 
but look what it's done for you. If it's meant for you, it's gonna be. It's, it's gonna be. Are we ever ready though? That's like the bigger question, right? Yeah. Like, are we ever ready? Yeah. And ready for what? Because you can ask for one thing and get another one. So mm -hmm. it's like a blessing in disguise, right? Like, yeah. I wanted to sell a lot of coffee. Did I want to be so busy that I work 16 hours a day, seven days a week? Maybe not, right? Yeah. But that's the packaging for the present. Right. Um, yeah. I, I watched one of your other videos and I want to mention, I want to drop it in this conversation if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, what was his name? Um, um, uh, Carlos. Carlos. Carlos Evans. Shout out to yeah. Carlos Evans, my guy. You, you changed me, Carlos, man. If anybody that's watching want to see that, that chapter of, of Coffee Break, yeah. they're going to love it. Yeah. Uh, so Carlos, is, is, he's got a, a story. We're not going to tell the story, right. so they go there and see go it. Go right? check it out on Instagram. It's on Instagram Live. <clears throat> um, he, those words that, um, that he said, right? That he doesn't need anything to become the man God wants him to become, I think is powerful. Because God will give us what we need right. in due time. Right. So it's not really when you ask for it or when you want it. Yep. Are you ready? You're never gonna find the answer to that. Mm -hmm. But he will know. Right. So when the time's right, everything clicks. Yes. How much effort did you and me have to put in to be here? Yeah. Not much because we connected right. from the first moment. Yeah. The conversations flow, the, the, the difference that you're trying to make in the world or the one I'm trying to make yeah. is obvious. People see it, people right. perceive it. Yeah. So. Yeah, man, that, that, that's good, man. Shout, shout out to Carlos for that, man. He's, he, he's a blessing, he's been a blessing in my life too. If you haven't seen it, go check that, that one out. It's actually on Instagram Live during this whole pandemic um you know these moments like this i wasn't able to do as much because a lot of coffee shops were closed and That's you know right. what i mean so it put a hold on me for a second so i'm super excited about this one because you know you could close this down whenever you want and i you know that's what i'm saying like it's it's like great opportunities man so i, I want to thank you i really want to thank you for this opportunity for for us to to get together and and um and and shoot this video and the time that you took to educate me on coffee, which is a totally another story. I don't know if you can see back there, but there's like a diagram back there that I can't even explain to you, but that's for another video because this guy can that? educate you. You know what I mean? This this guy is, is not only a, a, a barista, he's not only a person that, that knows about coffee, but he can educate you on all the aspects of what coffee is. So if you're in the Bristol area, listen, I advise you, Come to this place, man. Come to this place because you're not only going to have a cup of coffee, you're going to meet great, great people like this man right here. Um, so um, the address, I'm going to have the address in the video so you can see the, all the details, his website, um, his, his Instagram pages. I'm going to all put it in the description of this video so you can follow him. If you got any questions, comments, man, shoot them his way. Anything about coffee, everything about coffee. That's Shoot it his way, man. That, that's all we want to talk about here with this guy. <laughs> uh, but I, I want to, I, like I said, man, I, I really appreciate the time that you've taken and you've given me because I know time is money. You have family. Um, you got kids. You have your wife. So I appreciate uh, 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 the time that, that you've given me. Thank you. You know, because I know it's going to be taken away from your family, you know, and I'm, I'm sorry to, to your wife. I never met her and stuff like this. But listen, I'm going to bring him back. He's going to go back to your house and it's going to be cool. <laughs> but, um, but like I said, man, thank you so much um, for, for, for joining me on, on, on this segment. I'm going to be posting up the video so everybody can, can watch it and stuff. Um, and then again, like we always say, never settle with being good when you have meant to be great. Later.